After you've created your first notebook and you click on the notebook to open it, it's going to launch into the full desktop version of OneNote. So right now you're looking at the notebook that I created in my previous video and you're going to see kind of what the layout looks like. Now my notebook opened up in OneNote 2013, which is the version I have on my computer. If you have an older version of OneNote, the layout might look slightly different. Now I am not working within the online version of Office 365 at the moment, but because I created this notebook using the OneNote Class Notebook app, which is stored inside Office 365 online, any changes I make to this right now will automatically get synced back to the cloud so that everything is automatically saved as long as you have a constant internet connection. So here's a little tour of the layout of your first notebook. Up over here on the left hand side this is your notebook name. So you can think of OneNote as sort of like the digital version of a spiral bound notebook that has three five section tab section notebook. Over here these are the three sections that we talked about earlier that is created for you. So you get a collaboration space. Again, this is where you and the students have access to edit and add content. You have the content library, which is where you're going to be able to uh, add content for your students to access. And then you're going to see your individual students. Right now, I only have one student in this class, but if you have added multiple students, you will see them across the top of OneNote, and then you'll probably see a drop down, which will show you all the rest of the students that are in. And it generally puts it in alphabetical order, not by the order you actually added the students to the notebook. So if I wanted to access my collaboration space or my content library, I can click on content library, and now I'm in the content library. And the content library will always give you this little startup page just to give you an idea of what the content library is all about. You could delete this section if you want to. The students will see it as well, or you could just leave it alone. You have the ability now to create additional sections in your content library. And remember, sections represent those little colored tabs that you see on a spiral bound three section, five section notebook. And when you create a new section, you'll be able to name that section and then on the right hand side you'll be able to add additional individual pages to that section. So you have to kind of think about how you want to organize your class when you start creating sections, but we'll go more into the content library later. So I'm going to click back on that green arrow. This is what's going to allow you to navigate between these various areas of your notebook. The collaboration space, again, will give you a little summary about what that's all about. And then this green arrow brings me back. If you want to see what your student notebooks look like, you can click on an individual student name. And remember when we started creating our notebooks, we designated which sections they would have in their notebook. So every single student I added to this notebook is going to have these four sections. Something that you can't change. So if they're at some point during the year you want the students to have another section in your notebook, their notebooks, you're going to have to tell them to add it themselves. So we're going to click back. So this was just a little brief tour just to give you an idea of how the class notebook is laid out. In future videos we're actually going to start to learn how to use the content library, how to use the collaboration space, and how to use some of the tools that are built into OneNote.